Hello, great three. Today, we are going to look at the story in unit one. The story is called Happy Halloween. I am going to read it and you are going to follow me with your finger on the page as I read, okay? But don't worry about this, I will tell you what to do after we finish with me talking to you now. I will tell you everything you need to do. Don't worry, okay? So today you need your student book because the story is in the student book. You will need a pencil. You will need a pencil because you are going to answer some questions about the story. And we are going to do the workbook. So you might need your eraser. And when we finish the student book, you are going to do one page in the workbook. Okay, so that's why you need your pencil and your eraser. Okay, don't forget, if you have headphones, use your headphones, then you can hear me much better. And that's it. So we're going to start this class and we're going to read this story about Halloween. And then you're going to answer some questions and that's it. There will be some workbook, student book, reading, writing, and listening. Mm. Okay, let's go. Okay, today we are going to look at the student book, page number 14, page 14 in the student book. So we're going to read a story. Part A, listen and read. So you must listen and read the story with me. So we'll read it together and then we will read it on our own. You will go off, open the student book and you will read it on your own, just you, one person, okay? And then we will come back and there is some work we need to do. So that's why we need our pencil, okay? So after we have read this story, Happy Halloween, we are going to answer part B. Choose the correct answers. There are three questions. We will look at these questions when we finish reading the story. Don't worry, we will look at everything. I will tell you what to do, okay? Don't worry. But you do need your student book and you will need a pencil. Okay, when we finish that, we are going to look at the workbook. Okay, so let's carry on. Open your student book to page 14 now. Okay, I am going to read this story. The name of the story is Happy Halloween. I want you to Look at the computer when I read this story now. We will read the story again and you will follow in the book. But I want you to look at the computer when I read the story now. Are you looking at the screen? OK. Happy Halloween. Halloween is many children's favourite holiday. They dress up as ghosts, vampires, princesses, or superheroes. Then they knock on people's doors and say, trick or treat. The adults give them candy. That is the children's favorite part of Halloween. With their families, the children make jack-o'-lanterns. These are pumpkins with faces. Then they put candles inside them. Do you like fun holidays? Why not celebrate Halloween this year? Page 14 has a purple box with four new words to learn. Word number one, holiday. 
holiday. Number two. Ghost. Ghost. Number three. Adult. Adult. An adult is not a child. Adult. An adult is a grown up. Celebrate. I celebrate my birthday. We celebrate Song Gran with water. Let's read that again. We're going to read the story one more time. This time I want you to read it from your student book. Put your finger on the word and follow along with me when I read. Use your finger. When we finish, I want you to read the story one more time on your own. On your own. Con diao. Okay. Read it one more time on your own. You can use your finger to help you with the words. Put your finger on the book and read the story on your own. OK, I'm going to read it now. Do you have your finger on the book? Open your book, put your finger on the first word, Halloween. Are you ready? Here we go. Halloween is many children's favourite holiday. They dress up as ghosts, vampires, princesses or superheroes. Then they knock on people's doors and say trick or treat. The adults give them candy. That is the children's favourite part of Halloween. With their families, the children make jack-o'-lanterns. These are pumpkins with faces. Then they put candles inside them. Do you like fun holidays? Why not celebrate Halloween this year? OK, pause the video and take as much time as you need to read the story by yourself. I want you to read it again on your own. Read on your own, Anne Condiao, okay? Read it on your own, just you, not with me, okay? Okay, pause the video. When you are ready and you have read the story one time, two times, three times, four times, come back to the video and we will look at the next part. OK, please, please go and practice reading this story. I'll see you in five or ten minutes. OK, go, go, go. OK, so we've looked at part A. That was the story. Happy Halloween. We've read the story, me and you together. You have read the story on your own, I hope, more than one time. So now you know the story, yes? OK, so part B is choose the correct answers. So we're going to read three questions and then you are going to choose and circle A, B or C. That means you need a pencil. Do you have a pencil now? If you don't have a pencil, you can press pause on the video. Go get your pencil, come back, press play. And then we can go. Go get your pencil, please. Do you have your pencil? OK. Question number one. Remember, this is from the story. What do people not do on Halloween? What do they not do on Halloween? A, wear costumes. B, 
B, make candy. C, make jack-o'-lanterns. What do people not do? Circle A, B or C. Okay, number two. Why do children knock on people's doors? Is it A, to get costumes? B, to get candy? Mm, candy. Or C, to get candles? Do you remember candles? Why do children knock on people's doors? A, B, or C? Circle. Number three. People make jack-o'-lanterns out of clothes. B, candy. Or C, pumpkins. People make jack-o'-lanterns out of A, B, or C. Circle with your pencil. Okay. Are you ready for the answers? Here we go. Number one, what do people not do on Halloween? What do they not do on Halloween? B, make candy. They do not make candy. Make. They don't make candy. They do wear costumes and they do make jack-o'-lanterns. Number two, why do children knock on people's doors? A, to get costumes. B, to get candy. <laughs> or C, to get candles. Yes, B, to get candy. Lots of candy. <laughs> okay. Number three, people make jack-o'-lanterns out of A, clothes. B, candy. Or C, pumpkins. What do they make jack-o'-lanterns out of? C, pumpkins. Remember the big face? They carved the face, and cut the face, the eyes and the mouth. And they put a candle inside. That is a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, the answers are number one is B. Number two is B. Number three is C. Three questions, three answers. Did you get BBC? Yeah? Great. Let's move on. We are now going to look at the workbook. You are going to look at workbook page 10. Workbook page 10. You will need a pencil and an eraser. And obviously you will need your workbook. Please look at part A on page 10 of your workbook. This is find and circle. Find the words and circle. Then you do part B, unscramble and write. Part A, find the words and circle. This is your workbook page 10. There are four pictures and the pictures have words. So what is the first picture? The first picture is a ghost. So here is the word ghost, G-H-O-S-T. Look at the word search box. The word search box has lots of letters up and down and left to right and right to left. Circle the words that you can see in this word search. You are looking for four words. They go across, they go up or down, they go diagonally, and don't forget, they go from left to right, they go right to left, oh, backwards, we say this is backwards. They go up, they go down, they go diagonally up and down, and they go diagonally up and down the other way. 
Ooh, can you find them? You must find ghost, adult, celebrate, and holiday. Circle the words in the word search. There are only four. Okay, can you do that? This is part B, unscramble and write. This is the workbook, page number 10, part B. Read the story on page 14. That is the story we just read about Halloween. It is in the student book, page 14 in the student book. Look for the sentences in the story that have the same words in these sentences from the story. So in the story, in the student book, there are the same sentences and words. Unscramble the words on this page. This page is page number 10. Unscramble. Do you remember? Unscramble. Salap. Unscramble. Here they are. You must unscramble these words. Let's read them. Halloween, many children's holiday is favourite. Is this OK? No, this is not OK. You must unscramble the words. When you have done that, write the correct sentence on the line in your workbook. So you write your answer here on the line. There are four to do. Look at number four. It has a question mark that should help you. OK, right. Read the story in the student book, the Halloween story, and look for the same words so you can write the sentences. I want you to take 15 minutes to do part A and part B. So 15 minutes for the word search and the unscramble and write exercise. Part A and part B, please try to do this in 15 minutes. You can pause the video now and go away, open your workbook and do the work. When you have finished, you can play the video and we will look at the answers. Please don't cheat, okay? I don't like cheating and you don't learn. So, pause the video, go away, do the work, come back, play the video, and we will look at the answers. Okay, off you go, you have 15 minutes. Open your uh, workbook, get your pencil, and do the work. Okay, go, go, go. Have you finished? Did you take your 15 minutes to do part A and part B? I hope so. Please, please don't cheat and look at these answers and then write them in your book. You, you won't learn anything if you do that. Okay, here are the answers. So the first picture and word you are looking for is ghost. So it begins with a G. You should look for the G's. Can you see it? Did you find it? There it is. The next one is adult. So look for the A. I would say the best thing to do is look for all the A's. Find an A and then a D. If there's a D, then a U. If there's a U, then an L. And if there's an L, look for a T. And there it is. Number three, celebrate. Did you find it? Yeah, it's a long one. And number four, holiday. What are the three holidays in this picture? There's Christmas, because there is a Christmas tree. There's Valentine's Day. There's a heart shaped box with some chocolate and Halloween. OK, did you find holiday? There it is. Did you get all four? Great. 
So here, this is workbook page 10, part B, unscramble and write. Unscramble and write. Salat la kien. So let's see, did you get these correct? Number one. Halloween is many children's favourite holiday. Halloween is many children's favourite holiday. Now I have written the numbers under the words so you can see the order. There it is. So it's one, three, five, two, four, and the jutful stop, six. Number two. They dress up as ghosts, princesses, or vampires. So the order of the words is one, three, two, five, four, and then full stop, always six. Number three. They knock on people's doors and say, trick or treat. One, three, two, four, six, and five. And number four. Why not celebrate Halloween this year? This is a question. One, three, four, two, five, and the question mark, six. How was that? Did you get that? all correct. If you didn't get all of them correct, that's okay. Some of these are not easy. Number two is not easy. Okay, let's move on. That's it. That's the end of the lesson. Okay, now if you have watched the lesson from the start to the end in one go, that's okay. Now you can go back and do the work, but please, please, please don't cheat. Do the work first, and then you can check your answers. If you are wrong, that's okay, but I want you to see why you are wrong. Uh, uploading, uploading work to the Patai Udom Suksa e-learning site. Please, please, only upload one time. Please don't upload the same picture three times or four times. I have a lot of work to check. Please upload one time. Also, for today's class, this class, please only upload the workbook, the workbook, page 10. I don't need to see the student book, page 14. I don't need page 14, okay? Only the workbook, page number 10. That's it. Please, please practice your special days, the actions for your special days, question number one, and question number two. You can also think about your days of the week, you can think about your months of the year and you can think about ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But remember, I told you ordinal numbers will not be in your unit test. That's it. Have a great day and I will see you for the next class. Bye.